God, Hello. I love this, dude. I'm, I'm pretty excited, I'll be honest. <laughs> so I'm here with Emerson, who's pretty excited. He's got to be honest. And uh, got to be honest, because I usually lie. Yes. And Kropuska, and we're playing three-player triad extinction chess. Or I guess it's ex extinction triad chess? What is the extinction part? I don't even know. Three-player extinction. Three-player. I guess it's extinction triad. Um, because it'd be like three-player extinction circular chess. That makes more sense. So, triad. Okay. So uh, this is triad chess, as you can see the board. Um, and extinction chess is if you lose any of all one type of piece. So all your rooks, all your bishops, all your knights, or all your queens, you lose the game. And if you take someone's last queen, rook, bishop, or knight, or checkmate them, you win the game. You guys ready to play? Ah. Totes ready, dude. Guess that I like this. I guess I'm that excited. makes sense. So we have played just... I actually might have played this twice. Once or twice. I guess I'll look it up. Um, just this board. I think we've only played it once. Because it was extremely long. Well, it was for one game. It the video was an hour and a half, I think, for just. Yeah, I, I, I remember playing this board before. I think. So I might have done it. I might have done it twice. I mean, it took a lot of moves for uh, even see each other. Yeah, it'll said, take a while before we'll even like start interacting. I told everyone the last time we played. I told everyone we should just like move our pawns up really fast. Um, yep. But be careful of the. I'm gonna play strategically. But be careful of the bishops. <laughs> Why are the bishops pretty powerful here? Uh, just sometimes, you if you open the pawn, like, yeah, you can open the pawns up, and the bishops can snipe across the board. Try it. So I've only played this. Yeah, I've only played it once. And it looked like it was me. Oh, so have you you played this board? Oh, okay. So we played it twice, but it was me, you, and uh, Schroeder, and I didn't post that video because Schroeder, it was like an hour and a half video, and then right before uh, the game was over, uh, Schroeder just quit the game. Interesting. So. Did he quit? He had to go or something? Yeah, he had to go. And, uh... I mean, I still have the video, but I didn't post it on YouTube. And I'm, I mean, I always guess I could in the future, but it was it was an hour and a half of playing a game, and then <laughs> nothing happened. <laughs> oh, also, um, Chess was uh, yeah. I answered your question in the yeah, stream chat. Saw that. He's a busy person. Yeah. Um, just, I guess just for anyone who's a religious watcher of these videos, if, if that's anyone, um, I got to hang out with Gravit today. To hang out with what? 
Mango Town Gravit, who used to be part of the show, but has not played games since Christmas of this year, I guess. It was not been... Um, Just that sound again. So, it looks like that pond's unguarded, but I can't really tell. It looks like two pawns are unguarded, but I can't tell. I don't want to. I don't want to destroy a bishop for no reason. <laughs> oh. I guess all of our pawns are okay. So I guess we all did the same hey, move. We have the ex all have the exact same structure. Yeah. So all of our top pawns are. Uh, Being the middle pawn of, it, of the other. Yeah. To the left of their person. Top pawns capture. They're same color. Sorry for taking so long on that pawn move. Also, have you seen the new Mountain Dew flavor? Uh, I have not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a new one called uh, Liberty Brew that says it's 50 flavors in one. Oh, I'm taking Dr. Pepper on. 50 flavors in one? Sounds like it'd just be one big flavor. Um, if you ever want to look up... Um, this on the internet, anyone who's watching. Uh, Mountain Dew a while ago held a um, public vote on what their next Mountain Dew flavor slash name of their Mountain Dew can would be. And yep. that's that was one of the one of the realizations that you should not do public votes on things. Or was it like Fuckfest or some <laughs> fest word or something? Um... Uh, that, most most of the top votes were pretty bad. <laughs> uh, they were they actually follow through or were they pussy out? No, they, they did not follow through. <laughs> oh, what was the name? Jesus. Well, I I already said if anyone wants to look it up, just look up. Don't uh, want to say it. Well, just I'm not going to say all of them. There's so many of them that were. Uh, just you know, like the Bodie McBoat face. That was. Uh, I mean that was a, I mean that was a Mountain Dew one, but that was you know. That was a tamer one. That was when they someone just had a vote on like what they should name their vote, and it Bodie McBoatface won, and they didn't name it that. So. <laughs> Do voting. That's funny. So now, but now every voting thing that I've seen in the past like years. Whatever it is, it's something makes something face. Whatever. Oh, wow. So there's just like a group of people on Reddit probably that just make sure that that happens. I'm sure it's Reddit, yeah. <laughs> you being facetious or you agree uh, for real? Uh, I mean, I'm sure. I mean, I guess it could be Reddit. I don't know. And obviously, I don't know if it's Reddit, but like that seems like something Reddit would do. Let's see if a news story gives like a a Disney flavored version of the story. How do I? I'm trying oh, to look okay. it up. Just type in who name vote and <laughs> so it's four chan. <laughs> see, I was close, <laughs> but four chan the worst. <laughs> Fortune's even more. 
Yep. Hey, dude, I knew I was right. It said 4chan users hijack Mountain Dew contest. Oh. <laughs> top 10 votes. I would Vote for your favorite name to keep it on the top 10. You afraid you don't want me to read these out? Uh, I mean, I haven't I guess I haven't read them. I don't I mean, I'm if it's from 4chan, I'm sure I should be afraid of you reading it out, but uh yeah, I won't read it out. It's I don't remember. Sure. I don't remember the top ten. I remember the top one, I guess. But here, I'm gonna send you this, and then you'll see what I'm not reading out. Okay. <laughs> Post it in the Twitch chat. I know. I will. Oh, in the Twitch chat? You want me to? I mean, who's watching the Everyone Twitch? Am I right? The Twitch chat. <laughs> oh, it's your move too, though. I know. I'm gonna send it to you on. Um... I'll move real quick. So we do have three rooks, three bishops, three knights, and two queens. So I guess we can play somewhat aggressively. I mean, it shouldn't. Not. Yeah. I mean, not aggressively, but not like. I don't think I'm gonna worry if one of my knights or one of my like. Yeah, I can play with one of each, pretty aggressively. I think. Get one knight. Get one bishop. And one rook out. Oh, I was thinking. Um, but that's why, I mean, I don't know. Do you, do you think democracy... Like, Plato had a thing about democracy of, like... What, like, Plato hated democracy that, like, just anyone could cast a vote, even if they were uninformed, like... Plato thought that, like, daily dot. Um, you know, I guess we, we have shown problems with, like, uh, there have been problems with testing for, like, knowing information, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Um, before you need a vote, but... Uh, I yeah, know. I mean... I think obviously it's uh, more ideal to have your voters like aware like, of the issue they're voting on. Like you know, uh, at least one of one of Plato's points was like if you were trying to, at least in their time, if you're trying to cross the ocean, like would you put a crew together by vote of like we we elect these the best captain and best crew or you know should it be naval people that vote or should it be and it has to, people yeah, that it vote the question what is the purpose of their truth yeah people or, that vote slash what's the purpose do of they the vote boy? for people that is are the navy for a community people? is it for you know what i mean that's the questions you need to ask well yeah but then what is democracy for i mean that's that's what we need to, i mean we're definitely doing democracy hopefully for the purposes of getting what the public wants, I guess, into into action. Or getting what... Uh, I mean, I guess it's not even... I mean, I guess it's not... For. Yeah, not the majority, because it's not always the majority or not always... I know, and that's what I'm saying. If the voyage is not for... Or I guess, but it's for the public, usually for the best public interest without... <laughs> I guess I could say without corruption, but I mean, I wouldn't... This is usually for the best. Are you talking about democracy or what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. Democracy is good or bad. It's just, I mean, well, I mean, I do, but I'm just saying, like, it's. <laughs> I mean, it's a tool. Like, why? You know, you have to know why you're using it. You know. You, are you making the argument that maybe democracy is like what should always be used in every situation? No, I'm saying we have to realize that it's for a goal. I mean, it's for, and it's, that should either be something, I mean, I'm not one to say what the goal of democracy is. I'm not informed enough on that. But, like, I'm thinking it should be something like to have the public interest or best interest at, I don't know. I mean, yeah, see, it's, it's even hard to put something like that. But. And it could be used in different ways, though. You can have a democratic process for, like, a genocide, you know? I mean, 
you know, like, I don't really see, you know, democracy is not always good or bad. It's just kind of a way to organize. No, but I'm, okay. I'm saying, but it's for a purpose. It, they're like, we're doing it for a reason. Yeah, I mean, there's always a goal with democracy. You can't have a democratic event without having something to vote on, right? So if we can define whatever reason we're doing that for, it would be much easier to figure out a system that yeah, meets exactly. that. Exactly, I agree completely. Yeah, I agree. Um, Like, I, I mean, I haven't... Of course, and it hasn't been in action enough to, for me to have an informed opinion on it, but I know Maine um, introduced ranked choice voting, and they're the first uh, state to have ranked choice voting, um, which is just different from... Straight up yes, no voting? Yeah, straight up, like, this is the one candidate I want. Um, so I'll read a... Blend, uh, well, the ranked so voting was pretty much where... It's so one full vote, and like your second choice would get 0.75 votes, kind of like that or something? Um, not exactly. Um, okay. uh, I'll read it. How did it work? Quick. Oh, one sec. Can I move real quick? And I'll... So you rank, you rank all the candidates by just your preference. Um, if no candidate wins by a majority of first preference votes, the candidate with the fewest first preference votes is eliminated. Um, and then first preference votes, votes cast for the failed candidate are eliminated, lifting the second preference choices indicated on those ballots uh, to first. Um, a new again, I'm sorry. So, Do you mind reading it one more time? Yeah, yeah. So everyone ranks just from first to last. All right. Um, if there's if there's not a majority, um, the 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 last person, the person with the least amount of votes, is taken off, and then it's uh, just the counting is done again. So it's a runoff election. Okay. It's kind of a runoff election. Um, so until a first preference has a majority, um, that process is continued. An outright majority. I don't know if that's the difference between majority. Uh, it's, oh yeah, this system is referred to as an instant runoff voting system. So it's a runoff, like I said, yeah, nice. That's awesome. Um. It's an interesting idea. I haven't thought about it that hard. What do you think about it? Do you have any thoughts about it? I guess I haven't thought about it in a while. So, like, so I guess I haven't said this on stream before, but a goal of at least some of the members in Mango Town is to live next to each other in the future, slash, like, go in on land slash property together, if, if that ever be the case. Um, Interesting. Do what? So we've we've discussed heavily with Mango Town different voting systems like amongst ourselves, uh, because at least with Mango Town, so there's there's seven band members, uh, and two of which, not I mean not saying anything negative, but two of which uh, currently uh, rarely if ever participate in many things like we'll we'll get uh, times where we hang out and everything but rarely participate in uh, group discussions or uh, I guess pl playing games or uh, whatever events we usually do um, so we've we've discussed a lot about like how we can vote amongst ourselves you know, with with two people definitely usually not voting, and with with just uh, you know, if we do majority or 
you know, full, like, everyone has to agree or... So, I mean... We, we we definitely discussed a lot, and we pretty much just went over just different voting systems, and uh, we did we couldn't really come to a conclusion on like what would be the best one. And I mean, I try to think of like how you could just c kind of combine different ones and then give them percentages of what a vote would be. You know, like if there was two yeah, really good do a runoff of, of voting systems. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If there's like two really good voting systems, like if one fifty percent and one fifty percent. But but the problem came with that of like is there similarities between these voting systems and how do you give like, so say there's three voting systems and two of them were very similar. And then the other one, like, would you give, how would you <laughs> give those uh weight, I guess, between the voting system? Yeah. Uh, you should look into statistics, man. We have. Oh, cause then we, cause we statistics also and voting are a perfect marriage. Because uh, speaking of marriage, because at least one member of Mango Town is now engaged. So yes. we talked about how that would work if, like, yeah, different wives or girlfriends or potentially children would have a vote if or wherever that becomes. You guys like. would create a community is what you're saying. Uh, it's some I kind mean, of, not isolated, but some kind of insular community. I mean, I, def I mean, I, I, you could definitely call it a community. I mean, we, I mean, if we could live on a, sh you know, on one street and that be easier, and we all had the money for that, then, then you know, I wouldn't see a problem with then that. Then, when you have this land, it's just an experiment in a way. Uh, what do you what do you mean? You see it as a social experiment, like you're trying to. Well, I mean, it seems like you're picking a voting oh, system uh, that's ideal. I mean, not not really. I mean, I think. I think it. Would I think be it. Better. I it's think it really should be easier. You think it would... I think it should be easier in our society uh -huh. for friends to want to live near each other. If, <laughs> like, it, I know it's really difficult with jobs and family and just life and stuff, but. Uh, like, I don't know. It seems like it should be easier than the work. You're saying we're more isolated as the society than we really to be, but we don't realize, maybe, that they... Well, I definitely think that's that's true. I, I mean, enjoy being around people. Is that kind of what you're... A little bit of what you're saying? I, I mean, I guess. I mean, I, I don't know why society isn't more accommodating to people who want to <laughs> I mean I'm sure I'm sure I could get comments that say oh it is or like I don't I mean I don't know what the state or anyone should really do you know uh but yeah I mean I, I'm not I'm not one to that's I guess that's a whole nother thing like how do you divide Ooh. up land fairly like how do you like is it is it anyone's land like is it the government's land to sell or is it like, how do you... Yeah, I don't know. Are you talking about the problem of property right now? No! Uh, I was just looking at that. What was that? that? And I was wondering if you were going to block it. Well, I really can't well, block it. Well, it was defended when he moved his bishop in front of the I know, and I was wondering if he was going to fuck that up. Because like, I, I was specifically looking at that section and saw that as a weakness. Oh, thanks. I was surprised that he blocked it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, also, like, yeah, the, the, I think it, yeah, it sounds pretty cool. I don't really know how realistic it is to have like, a bunch of... Uh, yeah. A bunch of Megatel uh, living next to each other. It's like, yeah, also... I, yeah, it's, let's think in what way. I mean, if they all had jobs, why would it be unrealistic? I don't, I don't really understand what you meant by that. Well, so... Um... At least Grasper. I mean, that was that was uh, a question for Kropuska. Oh, go, okay. Realistic. I'm interested. Well, I mean, there is still, oh, like you were saying, there's just so many complexities in most people's lives. Oh yeah. Each other doesn't mean you have to be with each other all the time, does it? You know. No, no, no. no. Like, yeah, we have. We definitely talked about like how we would want our privacy. Uh, <laughs> Are you going to say, Travis? That's interesting. 
well, things that you know, I mean, like Professor was saying, like we didn't anticipate that might be more difficult, you know. So I mean, also makes you think about how like, like to, about how, uh, how cool it would be to meet uh, some people that we know from chess sites in real life. Yeah. Do you know a lot of people? Is your chess network and like games? Oh well, I mean, I I I knew I know Mango. I know all the Mango Town people. Like we've known each other in real life. I don't know if you meant that like as a. I don't yeah, know. Did you know that Crepuscular that they were like yeah. they had a band before this and all that? Yeah. And, and yeah, in my case, then uh, I, I never really know that he won like both in. Oh, both in virtual you know, life. He went yeah. online chess in real life. Cool. Actually, most of my people that I that I know are actually in real life too. But actually, I think Crepuscular, you're my deepest friend <laughs> that I've ever had. That's not um. <laughs> I've never met. Yeah, uh, just cool, man. I mean, I like you. I think you're awesome. So, like, yeah. thanks. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, for me, that's interesting. So, you have like a whole other perspective, man. Like, because for me, this is like new, but you you've had that divide for a little bit. Interesting. Yeah, also, do, you, do you feel different about your different friends? Like, not in a bad <laughs> way, but it, does it feel like a different relationship to you? Uh, not much. Okay. Interesting. Um, so yeah, also it's like um, yeah, it's like, uh, it's interesting. Also, I like how um, actually like Chesquiz lives uh, only a, a few hundred miles away from where I live. Oh, uh -huh. so I thought like maybe someday if like, if I had a road trip through Oregon, uh, then uh, then we could stumble across each other. Yeah, no joke. That would be interesting. No joke lives pretty close to me. Yeah. Or I yeah, guess that'd just be so surreal if I, if I, if I just know. randomly saw him in real life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought because cool. at least because uh, yeah. I mean, I played. I don't know exactly where No Joke lives, but uh, I know. I mean, I know it's in North Carolina. So, uh, it lives in North Carolina. Interesting. And I guess I could figure it out because he teaches chess somewhere, so I could just look up every chess teacher in North Carolina. So, do you know him well enough where he would like care that he saw you? Oh, we'd probably go for a beer. I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. No jokes, the dude that has like the stream. Yeah. You guys talk on? Do you guys talk at all? Like, you guys talk ever personally? Uh, not much. <laughs> we've had messages. I mean, we've had messages, I guess, but not not nearly as much. I mean, I've talked to Kobuska more. I'd say we've we've actually streamed and talked. So, I haven't. Joke was funny, man. I thought his stream was awesome. Okay, I haven't seen him in a while, but but he has really unique style. Yeah. Do you mean any style of talk, or what do you mean? Oh, just yeah. I thought he was funny, and he was also just had a very different streaming style from other chess streamers I've seen. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, it wasn't just about chess. It felt like it was like yeah, kind of like the whole chess is TV <laughs> that way. Yeah, for sure. Good. I've not really focused on. A style. What I don't know. Whatever you would say. Uh, like I, I really wonder what like what I would, because I'm sure I, I could just be boring to a lot of. Uh, I mean, it depends. I mean, you're gonna be boring to somebody, man. No one, you know. <laughs> Buddy's gonna think you suck. So yeah. Um, Cause I'm probably. I mean, I don't know. After there's there's probably. Well, there is. There's probably there's there's videos of just like tons of silence. Cause like at least with Emerson, uh, usually we have pretty good talking episodes. Um, and same with we've Short. had a few where it's been like intensely, you know. We've had a mix. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, I don't. I don't. I, I, I don't more. really try to be something different. I guess on stream. I mean, I I, I don't have anything against that or anything like. 
way I view it, Travis, is that you're like good at person in front of you, right? So like with me, you're ready to talk more. Like you said, sometimes with like Akeem or somebody else or Crepuscular or I don't know who. But it seems like you're, from what you've said in general, that like if you tend to play, with, you know what I mean? Like I'm perfectly, I'm well, I don't know. I'm perfectly fine with silence, and I'm perfectly fine hey. with. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm pretty. Be, right? I'm pretty. Don't you want to be that way? Don't I want to be that way? Don't you uh, want to be reactive in a way to <laughs> who you have on set? Always wanted to <laughs> on talk set. and your person in front of you didn't want to. Like, um, that's a problem, right? Yeah, I guess, but if, you know, if I could use your word, if I could be engaging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, some people aren't good talkers, so it might actually make it worse if, like, it's just you, like, trying to get them to talk and, like, they don't want to. <laughs> it might be better to just have an intense battle, you know? I don't know, man. Um. <laughs> so the one thing about YouTube is like that's what I realized is people will watch one video of you I mean not always I mean I, I guess I can that's just a generalization too oh people watch uh, one video uh, one video of you and then like decide if that's if they want to continue watching so having a variety yeah, man, people don't have time to like fuck around, you know. So having a variety of s- s- things, I guess that oh, I that's smart. So that might actually be bad because then it's like yeah. So well, so at least I know there's the our top chess video, it on YouTube at least is one of the few videos that is extremely laggy. It's it there there's one week oh, there's one week. I remember you telling me that that uh. It was laggy, and I didn't notice it because, it was, I don't know, something we changed with OBS. Um, and that's the top watch video. And I'm, uh, I'm. What is the top watch video? Uh, three player. It was it was one of our first three player, chess videos. I, oh no, it was it was three player circular chess. It was the first three player circular chess video. Who, who played in that? I can go look. Uh, uh, I think it was. Well, I'll just go look. Is your bishop attacking you? Yes. What's going on? Just opened your rook up. You know, it was our first one. Where did these uh, so that was, bend? I'm a little bit confused. I'm sorry. That was uh, me, Matt, and Alma. Cool. Oh, yeah, so were you asking where do the pawns defend? And do they depend right to the squares, right to the... Their own north, color. Northwest yeah, and north. They capture on their own color. They capture. I know they capture on their own color. Where do they defend? Do they defend well, on? That means the... that they defend on their own color. What? Yeah. What's the difference between capture and defend? That means a <laughs> pawn. So if you have a pawn on a like a dark gray spot, the to the north, east, and west is not defended by the pawn. And the pile defend the, the dark gray squares in front of it, or hexagons. But it will not <laughs> hexagons to the directly to the northeast and northwest. No. Okay. Wow. Fuck. That's completely wrong. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there is uh, other hexagon versions where there's two different hexagon versions. Well, I guess there's more than that, but uh, the hexagon versions where the pawns move straightforward there's a version where they can either capture like they do currently or capture like the way you mentioned oh so mm-hmm. like i am ready to be to, to ask that question in right? the so, the, the hexagon chest that we 
played last the pawns yeah, that me and you did, played did last. The way I you w- was talking about thought it did, right? Correct. Sure, would have talked about this before. <laughs> I should have figured it out. Well, but. so it is. It is. So I like it the way that you were talking about, but it does make more sense this way because they they defend the same way, like as a bishop and a a da- like yeah, a bishop would go. Yeah, it it actually does make more sense, <laughs> but yeah, I just wasn't you know. Yeah, I do. I do like the other way. Now I'm like got to restructure my thinking. Like fuck, dude. Like. I don't even know what my pawns are doing now. Um, okay. Well, you moved them all up. You've touched. You know, touched a piece. Yeah, but you notice like the way that I. <laughs> you look at how I organized it. Like it's pretty obvious that I thought they defended like each other because I'm trying to make like <laughs> lines. You know? uh, a wall. All right, it's a long time, dude. My yeah, What'd you say? Oh, they still mostly defend each other here. Yeah. Oh, that one could take, couldn't it? Yep. Okay. I thought that would, for whatever reason. For yeah, whatever. I can still take that. Uh, I thought I was unguarded. And that opens your rook up. Right. Oh, well. I appreciate it, man. Thanks. No problem. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Guys, just attack each other, man. (laughs) The poor boy. So now I have two pawns missing. Emerson has one. Things are pretty worthless, man. There's a lot of them. Excuse me? You're talking to a horde player here. I, I shouldn't say anything. That's, <laughs> that's a zero something to say. Like I didn't mean that. Like it's like a. Do you know how many pawns are better than a rate? <laughs> they're not worth it's very much in comparison. To say. Tell that to my. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, less than regular chess. It's not as big a deal. Excuse me. You tell that to my 36 pawns. <laughs> In horde <chest. laughs> Oscular's a little gray. <laughs> what? It's like... It's light gray, Bishop. It's pretty sick. Like, look at that shit. Light gray. Been all the way into your zone, bro. Oh, uh, yeah. What if? <laughs> Move a pawn that could probably get taken. Uh... I'd love to see what a queen at the like very center, like the spread of that queen has to be incredible. The spread? Oh, when that queen, queen spreads her legs, it's pretty interesting. Hmm. I know the, the queen's... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think yeah. like the queen. I think all the queens and kings in the car, deck of cards are like based off a of actual king and queen. You mean what? Like the queen, queen of hearts is like actually based off like queen, some queen. That's cool. Uh, okay, maybe not. So the Queen of Hearts is Judith, a bi- biblical figure. And the Diamonds is Rachel, a biblical figure. And the Queen of Spades is Pallas, another name for the goddess Athena. And the Clubs is Argon, I don't know, A R G I N E, an anagram for Regina, Latin for Queen. All right. Good to know. Good to know. That's essential information. I don't know if there's castling. Doesn't seem like there is. Oh, 
always surprises me is like the king's mobility is much more than I usually think. I need to go. I should do this more often. Go to a like random Wikipedia page or something. What is it about random Wikipedia pages? I don't know. I can just go to one. Like, there's some but there's some. I think you can like push a button or push a link. I've done or that before. Yeah, it's fun. That could give me topics to talk about when I have nothing to talk about. You guys ever uh, done the Wikipedia challenge thing where like you try to go from any word that you can imagine and within seven Wikipedia links, like in the actual article, you have to get to the other word to do it. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Also, if you if you look the all the Wikipedia articles eventually lead back to philosophy. If you keep really? clicking the first link in every article. Really? Yeah. That's cool. Pretty cool. Okay. The f All right. This one came up. 1983 Wikipedia article. 1983 King George the Sixth and Queen Elizabeth's Stakes. That's the title of the Wikipedia article. Was a horse race held at Ascot Racecourse on Saturday... 23rd July 1983 it was the 33rd running of the King jo oh well that's not fun running of the King all right ooh a taken pawn now our pawns are evened up except Crepuscular is still up one pawn um, the race attracted a field of nine runners five trained in the United Kingdom two in France two in Ireland the joint favorites were the Dick Hearn trained son princess, a three-year-old filly who won, is this like a horse race? Okay, yeah, horse race. Oh, sorry. Well, isn't that sneaky? <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I didn't mean it to be sneaky. I mean, I. Yeah, I, I I was planning to move it up. I was thinking it would take two turns. I was planning to move it to right in front of my king and then move it up one uh, to uh, that square, which I'll probably move it up one next just to like, or two, I don't know, hold my base a little bit better so you're not just sniping at my base. But but I, it's, I mean, it's not really, I mean, you're welcome to, I guess, but it's not really in our best interest, I guess, to capture yet. So with three people, isn't capturing generally a bad idea? I'd say so. Like, I'd want to wait, or he would want to wait, I guess both of us would want to wait. A, really, it's, it's, it creates an interesting dilemma because it's like, it's in any person's best interest to just, you know, wait for the other two to trade pieces. Well, so, but it's also, we're both, if either of us gets checked, like if Emerson checks me or if Emerson checks you, then we have a free bishop. Yep. So... We want to not get checked. Or just like even ch like threaten of the queen or something more powerful than a bishop, I guess. Um, let's see what your other bishops are doing. I haven't been keeping an eye on any other bishops besides that one, really. Oh, that's not true. 
the last last time I played three player chess on a on a different board, I was like, I'm gonna keep an eye on all these Fianchetto bishops. And as soon as I said that, uh, I made a move, and then Kropaskir took a free pawn, and then some, after that a free rook because of his Fianchetto bishop. Brought me, the, the random Wikipedia brought me a horse racing. <laughs> I love it. It's a, it's an episode title. What is? Oh, horse racing. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I, yeah, I don't know what I want to move. I don't know. <laughs> Slowly move forward, maybe. That's what a horde taught me. Galu. In Samaria. Oh, I think that. I think maybe uh, Emerson saw the threat. I did. Oh, a free pawn with a. Well. Wait. No, okay. Okay, yeah, that pawn. Yeah, free pawn. Threats is essential. Chess and life. Galu were great demons or devils of the ancient Mesopotamian underworld. Oh, I don't know if anyone's ever seen the show Wilfred, but uh, I was mentioning it. I've to, seen it. I was mentioning. Oh yeah, we have talked about it actually. I was mentioning to Mike uh, about the the mythology of like how they brought in the mythology of the dog gods of. Um, it was Wilf or it was Madamon and Krungle, and Mike thought uh, Krungle would be a good, use like a new username, or so like something Doctor Krungle or something like that. Um, but then it was Madamon off of Matt Damon, <laughs> with the flock of the Gray Madamon. Shepherd. But I recently acquired. Um, the four seasons of Wilfred on my computer. So I have been watching a few of the episodes that I haven't seen in a while. Because it was, it used to be on Netflix, but... Uh, yeah, I remember when it was. But it was taken off. But. Each, each episode of Wilfred starts with a really good quote, usually, too. Which I enjoy. Huh. Move this up. Might as well. That doesn't seem like it. Slowly move up. I don't want to look at. I don't want to see if my move have, moves have consequences or not. So I just. All right. Uh. Galu, G A, I don't know how to pronounce this. G A L L U, uh, demons hauled unfortunate victims off to the underworld. They were one Damn of. Man. Oh no, I'm good. <laughs> Sorry. They are one of seven devils, um, or the offsprings of hell, of Babylonian theology that could be appeased by the sacrifice of a lamb at their altars. Hmm. So if you don't want to be an unfortunate victim. Dragged off to the underworld by glue, you just all you have to do is sacrifice the lamb to their altar. It seems like what a I find interesting is that the friggin' Christian theology, like, I mean, that like, seems like a pretty easy price to pay. <laughs> like, they don't, they're like, wow, like, you know, it's like it's based on friggin' animal sacrifice. Like, that is such a like, trope. well, it's based on a human sacrifice. So many relations to the lamb of God, and like, you know. And like the Jewish tradition is based well, upon animal sacrifice. It's, it's like the whole. It's based off of I mean, religion. It's based but, off of Jesus, at, like being a human sacrifice. Exactly. So it's, it's based. It's a human sacrifice like, religion. That's such an old idea. Like it's so funny because like you talk to Christians and like think it's some like new fucking thing. It's like. Well, no, I mean, like most things that humans have done in religion since the beginning, you know. 
A lot of, I mean, I don't, I haven't heard people say like it's a new thing. Most people I've talked to is like, you know, say it's, have have even claimed it's, it's the, have even claimed it's like, yeah, no, I mean, Christians, I've, I've, I've heard Christians claim that it's the oldest religion. So like, yeah, I'm sure there's people who claim that too, but I've also heard like, there's no other religion like it, you know, like it's special. Um, you know, if, if all you had to do to not be tortured for all of eternity was sacrifice a lamb, would you do it? That's a good it question. Worked. Yeah, duh. <laughs> like you would, you would sacrifice an innocent lamb, Emerson. <laughs> Um, that's a good point. Yeah, I probably would. Man. Also, you just uh, think it's innocent. So do you think yeah. it'd be moral if an alien believed that sacrificing humans to a god? From their perspective? Probably not. If an alien believed sacrificing humans, what? Would get them to their god, their salvation. Or would or would stop them from going to a under a, a hell, I guess. I don't know. Would it be morally justified for a alien to do that to humans? If they were superior intellect of us and uh, yeah. Yeah, a smart. That's a question. If a smarter alien being <laughs> thought sacrificing a human would prevent them from going to hell. Who are, should we? Well, I guess we should stop them, of course. But like, who uh, is it? Is it morally justified? Us innocent, innocent humans. Oh, and for some reason, you just reminded me of that uh, show. The show called The Good Place, which I watched recently. The what which, place? You know anything about that? The The Good Place. The Good Place. I like that show. I haven't seen it, but I've. I guess I've heard the name. About a crepusque. I mean, it's uh, definitely one of my favorite shows now. Uh, it's like what they're doing. It's like, holy shit. This is what Wikipedia has it, 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 it's, it's like, it, I thought of it because you were talking about stuff related to the afterlife, and it actually, it's actually set in the afterlife. Well, for the most part. Yeah. And it's just like, it's full of these uh, like mind-blowing plot twists. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The idea, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, just, it's hard to talk about well, the plot too much without spoiling stuff. Yeah, but I mean, they almost keep playing with it so much that it's like, can, you know what I mean? It almost, yeah. Philosophical fiction. Like that's what it, that's what it, Yeah, it's very philosophical. Is it on any streaming service? It's or? on Netflix. You'd like it. I think you'd like it, Travis. Netflix ads. The good place. So no pieces have been captured yet. Good on us. 50, 54 minutes in the chess game. I'm not saying. I'm, I mean, I, I'm not. I'm not worried about long. Videos are playing because they've actually been moving a lot faster than some other games. <laughs> Twenty-three it's minutes. It takes so long for a game to be played on this board. Yeah, a good place. How far? Behind? I guess I want to see two seasons. That's not too bad. So I'm not too far behind. 
Because I was planning to watch Game of Thrones this summer, but now that everyone's really mad about it, I'm thinking about it. I shouldn't just, I mean, I don't want to spend it. It's still worth watching, man. It's still one of the best shows ever made, I feel like. It's just disappointing because they didn't end it well enough. But it's also <laughs> like, how the, you know what I mean? Like, it's a big thing. Like, it's pretty hard to end a show like that perfectly without pissing people off, I feel like. To watching, man. But that's me. I'm just a dude. What do you think, Kerfusk? Is it worth watching? Have you watched it? Uh, no, I, I, I don't really feel like... Is it your thing? Like, are you I don't really feel like it'd be uh, a show that uh, I would be particularly drawn to, but uh, certainly for what I've heard, it's uh, considered a great show. Dude, I'm, I, I like your perspective. Like you're, yeah, It's you're like, uh, basically, I'm, uh, it's like, uh, I, I, I tend to overall, like, probably enjoy more lighthearted shows. Let's see. I think you'd like Wilfred. Oh, Wilfred can get dark though, but yeah. But not, I mean, not not many episodes. I mean, there's a few dark episodes, but it's, it's not really. It's overall like... lighthearted for sure, like definitely. But it can take some dark turns, which I I enjoy. I mean, I, I like dark shit, really dark shit. Actually. I would say yeah. so. So the one of the premises of Wilfred is only the main character sees. There's a person in a dog costume, and only the main character sees it as a person in a dog costume, and everyone else sees that, and we see it as a person in a dog costume, but everyone else... That's the darkest part, dude, is because you realize, like, you're watching someone who's probably, like... Yeah, e so everyone else yeah. sees them as a dog. So, like, there's, well, a the there's a theme of, like, is he insane for, like, right. is he insane? And that's where a lot of the interest, I think, derives in a long-term... Way, you know? But I would say I would say the darker ones are like when Wilfred, as a dog, like says says things like, like you know, like uh, like ripping oh, kittens, yourself? like no, like well, yeah, like he has sex with a, a stuffed animal. Just says, what, what did he say? Sorry, I don't he, know. Uh, like ripping, like ripping out the throats of kittens and stuff like that. Like he has a dog saying that, and he'll say he'll say things that like dogs will do. As I don't dogs. Find that, that dark. You find that that dark? I think well, no, I'm funny. saying I'm saying the dark things come from that. Like, he, the, the, like he as a dog, it's normal for him as a dog. But since we see him as a human and as a human face, like it, it's 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 obviously you know extremely. Oh, wow, that's not dark to me, man. I don't know. I, I mean, I'm I'm that's not saying dark. that specific moment. I'm just saying that's. I think in the show that's usually where the darker oh, joke. That's where the darker jokes and darker moments come out. Okay. Yeah. Uh, right, I need to move. I'm just kind of... <laughs> having a hard time finding out what's profitable. <laughs> yeah, remember everyone. Uh, one, of, one knight, one bishop, and one rook are expendable in your army. Like a, a way to view it or something? I mean, in war, you gotta you gotta kill some people, you know. Why don't you go ahead and do that philosophy, and I'll watch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I think that's a safe move. I mean, but see, I feel like it's almost bad because thinking is good. So. No, dude. <laughs> yeah, thinking helps. <laughs> I usually don't think. I just, I'm just like, well, they didn't make a move that threatened me that I know of. So I hope they didn't discover attack me in some way because I didn't not. Yeah, but I... if you can have like a plan. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Do I really look like a guy with a plan? I'm sure the Joker is pretty good. From? Uh, the Joker in Dark Dark Knight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that was from. Movie's still good, man. Yeah, I haven't seen it in a while, but I would definitely watch. There's, I would definitely watch that again over. A lot of things. I mean, guess other, definitely over. I haven't. Well, I haven't. Wa I'd probably watch that over. Like I haven't seen the new Justice League or the new Aquaman or like the new. The last DC movie, I haven't seen Batman v Superman, and I saw Wonder Woman, and I saw a bootleg. I, I saw a bootleg version of. 
Well, I saw yeah a bootlegged version of Suicide Squad, and I didn't pay attention. So uh, I'd, I'd probably Suicide Squad was the biggest terrible thing I heard. So my point was, I'd probably watch The Dark Knight before I watch again before I watched a new one of those. <laughs> you like the whole superhero craze bullshit? Crazy so bullshit. Uh, I mean, I, I've enjoyed the movies, and like I don't hate on them. Uh, I hate them. I, I mean, like, yeah, I've definitely, I've enjoyed them more than just annoy me, man. Oh, I thought the whole culture the- around it. What? I really enjoyed most of the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies. Endgame and Avengers and all that? Yeah. I hear they're good. I just never... I don't know. Not a big summer blockbuster guy. You know, never have been. I feel really blockbustery to me. Blockbuster. Um, yeah, I mean, I can, I'm, I am worried about them getting like, yeah, more like a little old in the like in the after in game actually. Uh, but do you see end game? Yeah, but I do. I think I mean I enjoy TV shows. I think now more than movies. Like I, I talk, Mike, I talk, Mike, Mike and I had a pretty long conversation about this. But I don't, uh, Mike still enjoys going out to the movies, and the only movies I've gone out to is, recently has been The Avengers. I really don't, no, I'm with you on that. The Avengers movies with Mike. That's usually not good. Um. (laughs) You know? Well, I mean, I went in college. Is that your same philosophy on it? Uh, it's just kind of what you're going to say, who cares? Um. I went in college because I got in for free because I had, like, everyone who worked at the movie theater were my friends. Oh, I see. Um, And they were really, they were actually fun because they were full movie theaters and, like, the people talking was, it was actually funny. Um, Or, like, if, if anyone, like, talked too much, someone would insult them and that would be funny. Um, But, yeah, now that I have to pay for them... uh, and usually it's just, usually there's not yeah, like yeah so you're with me on that yeah it's just like there's not like public college experiences of the movies I guess I don't know um, yeah it's like and just like, pay ten dollars for a movie that might suck like yeah I, and that I have like good speakers and I'd rather like right, it's like you could definitely have a better experience at home for free <laughs> exactly like, so I think I'd prefer to just watch things on TV at home now or even if the they're same. movies. And like like stuff with Redbox, like I haven't I haven't got Redbox in a while, but like movies come out on Redbox for a dollar, uh, like like, yeah. like two months or a month after they come out in theaters. So like usually I can wait <laughs> uh, that long. But I did that with we watch I guess what I watch I watched Deadpool on Redbox, I watched Into the Spider Verse on Redbox. And uh, Solo, the, the Star Wars movie. I watched it on Redbox. Solo was terrible, dude. Did you like it? Um, oh. I, I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I think, <laughs> I think it's very in line with a Star Wars movie. Like most Star Wars movies, Star Wars, uh, you like it. <laughs> Most Star Wars movies, in hindsight, are pretty bad. Like, but like it, it, it's a. I think it's a just like almost same with Marvel movies now too. Like it's a public event to watch them and a public discussion to watch them and. Yeah. Um, and so like, <laughs> especially with like Star Wars and in-game stuff. Like if I've watched all the other ones, I I feel like I'm not gonna not watch like the final one or whatever. I know it's not the final one, but. Uh, but solo, yeah, it's extra bad to me. But like, I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't watch. I don't think I need to watch it again. But I like. 
Do you think it was worse than the Phantom Men? Like the the the, the, the you know the trilogies or the. The yeah, so the thing is, though, I watched the Phantom Menace trilogy when I was really young. What are you? And, why? Like, I know. Anyways, <laughs> I like those better, but I realize my bias is nostalgic. You know, I can't. I don't really have a lens to to judge the second trilogy. Like I still would say it's bad, but it's also like just mixed up with my childhood, man, in a weird way. How to separate it out. I would appreciate you not just piling up all your pieces on me, but, you know. That's just, that's just me, personally. And it's weird that a pun can't... Like, it's being taken by the rook, but it's also defended by another pun. Yes. Which, I mean, I didn't really want to do, because I know that... I mean, in the future it opens it up, which I think... I mean, opening up scenes fine, but I, I know closed up scenes seem better. Yeah, um, but yeah, now, but now I do think. Oh no! So Spider Man is coming out. I don't. I did like the. I did enjoy the last the Spider Man one. Um, yeah. And especially yeah, with Marvel movies, especially after Endgame, like it will be spoiled. I, yeah, I don't really care. If, I actually don't know if I'd really care as much if Spider Man was spoiled for me. Um, <laughs> but I'm sure it will you be. You guys both officially enjoy the. Superhero stuff, right? Yeah. Uh, Your favorite Spider-Man? Actually, into this, into this, into the Spider Verse was a really good movie. Yeah. Who's in it? Is it Andrew Garfield still? No, it's like a. a oh yeah, cartoon. I know. Yeah. Okay. What did you think of Andrew Garfield? <laughs> I mean. I have to go back and watch him. Really, uh, I haven't seen him in so long. Like I'm not caught up in the move. Sorry. Well, uh, Sorry. those ones like, like so definitely, yeah. The M the MCU stuff, I definitely would prefer over the, uh, like the Fox or. Well, I guess Fox is no more, but uh, the the older Fox. X Men and Spider Man movies, and or uh, yeah, uh, X Men and Fantastic Four, of course. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think so. I didn't. Uh, what what do I say? One of the movies I didn't enjoy. Like Ant Ant Man was one of the first Ant Man and Ant Man Two, or I, especially Ant Man Two was one of the first ones that was like. I don't think I'm going to watch it again. Everything in the trailer was like... Everything was already spoiled to me in the trailer. And it's... Like, nothing really surprised me or popped... Like... I don't know. Because I think Ant-Man does good in, in the team-up movies. But his solo movies... Uh, I thought the Ant-Man movies are really fun to watch. Yeah. Um, I think... I... Th he has one of the powers that doesn't make, like, the, the powers doesn't make sense to me, of. The power is kind of inconsistent. Yeah, yeah, it's very inconsistent of, like, what makes sense as the power. The power that he just becomes small, and, like, when he becomes small, he gets faster, or, like, what happens? Well, it's, well, it's, it's it, it seems to me like sometimes, uh, like, it's treated like he still has the same mass when he shrinks, but other times, like, he, like, his mass also decreases. Yeah, so th there's continuity errors between like, yeah, if he's extreme, if he's his same weight when he shrinks, or if he's like a speck of dust weight, and he uses it as a power to be like, like to punch people when he's really small, like, 
and it it makes it where he can punch people like extremely like normal I guess when he's small but then like it doesn't make sense on other aspects or yeah like yeah yeah but um, I mean I guess I'm not one to like really care too much about like extreme continuity errors in superhero powers um But, but out of all the Marvel movies, I would say the Ant Man solo movies were my least favorite. It's it seemed like. Well, let me think about that. Uh, actually, I didn't enjoy Guardians one either, or two. Yeah, well, two is okay. Everyone, well, everyone really liked Guardian ones, uh, like in the like it was you know reviewed really well. And that was, I, I wasn't really a fan. It was, like, it was fine. Like, it's not a terrible, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't see, I don't see most of the movies as terrible movies. Um, just that, you know, it was fine. So it seems like you're going to try to attack my pawn, Emerson, and I'm going to want to urge you against that, okay? Alright. Thank you for the warning. No problem. But we are all playing very hesitant. <laughs> I can get... <laughs> this will be our first two-hour chess variant. Extinction chest. Probably wouldn't be wise for me to attack the pawn because if we started trading down, we'd pretty much give Crepuscular a huge advantage. I could also take it and then count on you to not want to do the trade down and then just go up a pawn. Is the route I'm going to take. All right, well. I'm definitely going to recapture. You're going to trade down? Okay. Well, I mean, I I lose a pawn regardless, so, I mean, like, why... You... Yeah, but now we're going to, like, both lose a bunch of really good shit, possibly. All right, if you want to. I mean... Yeah. Yeah, trading pawns isn't as important, I think. Oh, I know, but if I take with this rook How back... Big? <laughs> which I can do, and I would end up winning the trade battles. The trade things battle. On that. Do you have three things I on it? But he could get him. He could take with his bishop. Oh, no, I, don't I, really see know. It. I see. I don't really know if it's so much better than bishops here. Oh no, I do have four things I on it, so I would still. No, I see. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Yeah, it'd probably end up being bad for me. <laughs> Could get one more attacker on it. <laughs> As I like to do. Um, if you don't like superhero stuff, you should watch Legion. And you, I, know, I have heard Legion. I've watched the first episode. It fucking blew my mind, dude. I have it all on a Google Drive. I can send you. Yeah, why not? I need to put. So I need to put up. season two. I have season one. I need to put season two. But uh, I mentioned this at the start. But Gravit and I, who used to. Uh, play on here with Mangertown. Grab it. Mangertown, grab it. Uh, he and I hung out last night. And uh, we watched Legion. And we watched Nathan for you. I think you'd like, I think you'd like Nathan for you as well. If, um, uh, Crepuscular, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The one you showed Darker, but you'd probably like it. 
Chesswiz uh, said it was he. Nathan Few is one of the few people more awkward than Chesswiz. I, I don't know. If, I don't know about that statement, but. Andrew himself. So wait, when did Chesswiz say something about the sh show Nathan for you? Uh, in a private message. I sent I sent it to him in the in a private message. But it is official here. Chesswiz did say he enjoyed the show Nathan for you. At least the episode, I think two episodes he watched. Heard it first here, folks. Well, that's rude. Shit. <laughs> what? Wow, did you just see that, guys? <laughs> that was a pretty fucking crazy move right there. You were in check, good sir. Yeah, how is that check? It's so crazy. Check, good sir. Be honest, just to tell you guys a secret, I didn't know it would do that. Just trying to set up something else. <laughs> um, so, if you would want to watch a Nathan Few episode after this, we can do that on Rabbit, because I'll definitely watch one. Um, I love that show. I remember when we watched, like, four of them in a row. <laughs> that was a good night. Yeah. That's a good show. It's a good night. I've been uh, binge watching the show Psych, which I mentioned the other day. Yeah. I don't like that show. Grab it. Uh, <laughs> Grab it. I somewhat talked about it because we talked about. Uh, well, we mentioned. We were talking about the meme um, from Holes that was uh, uh, the guy that played in uh, Psych and Holes that said. Uh, uh, is the meme that I can fix that, uh, that meme. I don't know if you guys have seen that. But it's a meme where the guy in holes that says, I can fix that dual hill. I don't know. Uh, he says, I can fix that in, in holes. And that became a meme. Oh, shit. Kerpusk. You. I've been setting up batteries. Oh, pawn, snap, bro. look at that. Weakness. Well, well, the pawn and, yeah, and the bishop, the bishop queen battery setup thing. Got a bishop, a queen, and a knight. Mm -hmm. yeah, and it's, it's like yesterday I watched, I think, about 10 episodes of Psych in one day. Isn't that a, like a, like that? isn't that a 40 minute episode? Uh, okay. yeah. Nice. Sykes, 40 minutes? Yeah, I think I, 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 I think the character, I like the characters, I think they have, yeah, like, good, uh, funny interactions, and also the, you know, the way that they solve the mysteries. Oh. Damn it, Crepuscular, you're fucking up my shit, man. You're, you're too busy trying to take my pawn? I, mean, I, I can easily defend it. Like, it's not a problem. It's just like, I don't want to have to commit resources to this problem. Yeah, you wanted to I commit wanted to all your to resources to me. And yeah. <laughs> exactly. You get it. Oh, fuck, man. I have to move my queen out of here. Or something. Oh. Man. All right, uh, let's see here. I could do something else. Do something different. Do you know who's still watching this video on YouTube? I applaud you, and you're my friend. Oh, <laughs> I see. <laughs> um, sorry, guys. Whoever gets on YouTube and it's like, I want to watch three-player Extinction Tri Chess, two-hour video. That sounds good. <laughs> That's a that's a good yeah that's a good use it's, of my day. It's such a wide market. But what people don't know is they could put it and just play it on their computer and then walk away from their computer and just have it play in the background and that's what they could do if they didn't want to watch it. I don't know. I mean, 
I don't know. I don't know what the benefit for them is, but it seems to be a benefit for me. Okay, you guys are going. I'm prepared to not commit any, take any resources away from my attack on Travis. I mean, you just shouldn't attack me, right? And here's here. I'll I'll defend it one more time. So now you know you're not going to attack me. How about that? Oh, look at you. So just just leave me alone. And now I can go after Crepuscular, right? If I'm not if I'm not defending against you, I have my resources to go after Crepuscular, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> In the that's how we work. In the the two guns firing at each other. I think there's a market. There could be a market in the future. We never know. You know, what if there's a market in the future that I'm, you know, it's like like Bitcoin. Like you know, with chess was, there was not a market for Bitcoin, but then one year. There was a market. It's the guy who invented it, what, Sokomote or Suka? Remember, he's like, no one ever found out who he was, but he was the one who solved the double spending problem or whatever. But it's really interesting. He solved, like, one of the biggest financial problems on the internet, like, with internet finance, and, like, he's just a username. He is. Isn't that incredible? Like, here, I put another defender on at that move. So if you want to... <laughs> oh, he's really worried about this, But I, I, uh, I guess to mention this again, I well, I'm playing chess at seven, so that's it's almost two, five hours from now. So hey, you mentioned that. Would be done around six. <laughs> Perfect. You can get a bite to eat. Yeah, we can we can watch an Nathan View episode, get a bite to eat, and start playing again. I can't wait till we send food over the internet. It's going to be awesome. You think that's going to be a thing? Eventually. It'll be a while, though, maybe. I don't know. I think, well, I mean, I think it'll be like, I could just pay for someone's food and it would just be sent to their house. I mean, what do you, what do you mean? Like, how digital, what do you mean food would be sent? Uh, I'm talking about like digital stuff where we have like, maybe everyone has like a, like box of like, just, Digital chocolate. So there's nothing in a machine, and then like you can just download like a digital copy, and then it kind of just like cooks it for you pretty quickly, and like just I don't know something like that. So you're gonna send me data, and then my 3D printer is gonna print me food. Yeah. All right. Yeah, like share a recipe with you digitally. Nice. Like that. I'm sure that's coming. A lot of now, but I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Me too. Um, I, I've heard of definitely things where like it is like a kind of a 3D printed farm though where you can upload different like like se like seeds or like tell the computer like this is what I'm growing in it. Uh, it's kind of just like a box. I don't know. Uh, that you can put in your kitchen. Ooh. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Uh, wait, can you make a move first? Because I'm about to make a move. Yeah. If you don't mind. Uh, bye, bye, bye. Okay. Questor's like, I know I had plans today, but this chess game was taken... Yeah, it's like, <laughs> the 
debating, like, do I want to stream with these people? Just kidding. I think the, there's a there's something hanging. Oh, is it for me or for it's everyone? Session of what? Who's it? Who's who's it? Who's That's hanging? That's probably for me. Sorry. Watch. Is it? Well, is it for me? Just wait a second. Uh, yeah, that's not for me. Did that solve it? Okay, now Kropesko will be back in a few minutes. Uh, oh, so <laughs> okay, what did he say was happening? What was he in? He just said something was hanging, as in the pawn, I think, that was taken for free. Yeah. Oh, my pawn was hanging. Okay, cool. Ooh. <laughs> you want to do it? You want to trade down? Sorry, uh, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter too much, but. Hard. Hardly thinking. Hardly thinking. Note to self. But also with the king, with the kings being so far away. So I thought, yeah, I thought like we'd be more aggressive, but with the kings, like check is usually the one thing that like gets people to be more aggressive in three player chess, and that is happening less and less because the kings are so far away. It's so devastating because it forces you to like wait a move and then. Yeah. Well, I mean, and things just get taken for free when you get put in check or your queen That's gets what put I'm in saying. check. All right, I am block. You're what? I am block. Oh, back, yeah. I thought like you were saying blocked. Making an Arnold Schwarzenegger reference there? I don't really know if I'm kidding. I'm just saying I'm Bach. <laughs> Go on, so, so all we need to do <laughs> is take one of a certain type of piece. Extinct to extinct someone's pieces. Yep. So so if I so okay this is well, a better way to look at it. Well, it so what if I went after is someone's variant going on here? Yeah, extinction chess. What's the variant? How does it work? Sorry, <laughs> I forgot. If you take yeah. all of one type of piece, you win. So if you if you so lose all of one type of piece, okay, cool. 
So if you lose all your knights, bishops, or rooks, or queens, you lose. Okay. He has three defenders on that pawn. The only bishop is guarding the knight. No, the knight is also guarding. Wild, isn't it, Kropovsk? Emerson's knight isn't guarding a... Oh, I, don't, I guess I don't know what pawn you're talking about. So. I think you took that pawn was not a bad idea for me. I think it was actually exactly what I needed to do. <laughs> about to release a hellstorm. Hellfire will fall from the skies. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't care. You don't care? You're not going to react to it or anything? Not sure. I do care. <laughs> I don't know. I just realized that I still had chess whizzes, uh, Twitch open, and I just saw his response probably from an hour ago or so. If I were an obstacle, I think I would enjoy being overcome. Yes. <laughs> oh, the music game is streaming something. Todovsky, Code of Sky. Nice. Stream programming. Pop it on his dream. Say what's up. <laughs> if no one's talking to you in your chat, just go talk to someone else. What you got, Emerson? What you got? Man. Oh, cool. That was the bishop that was checking my king that one time. I have a nice discovery set up again. Oh. Did you start messing with him?
decisions, decisions. Oh, didn't see that one coming. Ooh. Oh, I know, right? That's what I wanted to do on the last one. Yeah, look how many. Oh, yeah, you got a lot of attackers now, don't you? Move before that. What? So now you got a lot of attackers now, don't you? No. I <laughs> figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to tell you. I have exactly 20 attackers. Now you need to get move this piece to help. Well, you got your knight, your other knight. Your queen, your rooks, and your other queen. Good servant. So that sounds like five. Good thing I have five defenders. You're being a double attacked and one in return, that sucks. <laughs> well, I don't really see how I'm being attacked by a Travis. Uh, my pawn's attacking your pawn, but it's not bad. Yeah, um, it's not like a major yeah, but I'm also attacking that pawn. Oh, but you're attacking his oh, rook. Interesting. <laughs> Three way trade. And I'm attacking your rook. Oh, yeah, you do kind of have a problem, possibly. Are you going to have the first piece of capture ever? We do! Yeah. So things looking good for you, Crepuscular. All you got to do is swipe into either of our bases and take out our pieces. <laughs> You're the one who started this, Travis. And I'm going to be the one that finishes it too. I'm going to I'm going to be the one that comes out ahead, and hopefully, oh, really, hopefully, you're big talk. You're big talk. <laughs> so let me have that pawn, but. <laughs> Okay, I mean, you could have let me. <laughs> but you're the one that you could you could have let me. No, you could have let me you're kept the one my that's pawn. Giving Crepuscular the big advantage. You could no, trade. you took my pawn, right? I took your pawn, but that's not a big with your knight problem. 
So like I can't let you take with crepuscular, right? But I couldn't let you because, take a like no pieces were traded, so we weren't giving crepuscular a huge advantage. I was just talking over little coins, little dribble. Yeah, but like I couldn't recapture with a pawn, so like I'm not gonna let you just. No, you could have just let me have one pawn, but now you're giving. But crepuscular but you are also advantage by deciding to trade down pieces. But with that knight, you, know I mean? you are attacking my other pieces, so it's better. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. You got the I can't attack because then I lose a queen, right? That does sound correct. Let's see here. I, I did warn you, and I did say, I mean, oh. Did you really think that we could go through like five trades without Crepuscular doing anything? <laughs> what? Oh, snap. I'm getting a queen. Yep. See, now that it does kind of. Uh, so we, have to, we just have to get one of Crepuscular. I mean, one of Emerson's queens. Our song is scores guarded. Because <laughs> he kept piling up on it, and then I had to pile it up on it too. Or do you just mean in general? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you. I don't know. Okay. Yep. Let's take with your. I don't know. <laughs> I like that move kind of threatens crepuscular a little bit. What move? I just did because now with night is being attacked and it does matter. Oh, well, that, yeah, now the pawn's in the longer pin. I mean, I have lots of places I could go. Yeah, no, you can... So I, I can infiltrate, kind of, except most of the border. Okay, so I, I could go there, except not. <laughs> except not. Uh, yeah, there's can. no there's no hexagon in his base that you can go. Oh, yeah, I guess you could go, uh, what? 07? That's how it works. Oh, your rook or bishop is guarding the O? Your bishop is guarding O7. It is. Fuck, you're right. Maybe you can. Yep. Can infiltrate, actually. Or I can sack the, the exchange for a pot. <laughs> do it. What do you want to do, man? But you, uh... I actually kind of like that move. Oh, nice. Snap. Oh, I 
guess it was check. So okay, so it's check. Oh, well, we, we'll get out of check. So I'll be good. Yeah, your checks don't help me attack Emerson Crepuscular because he gets out of them. Yeah, the problem is that he moves right after me. <laughs> I guess I can... Oh, that's dangerous. Huh. I mean, I'm going to lose for sure. Classic three, three chess variant with me, you know? I'm always the... <laughs> get to decide who wins, but I know I'm going to lose. I think... <sighs> Well, I don't know. I mean, I definitely. I think Akeem has lost more three-player chess. I don't know. I mean, I haven't. We can go back and look, of course, but. Uh, don't care. But... So this makes it risky because I don't. Well, because both knights are now under attack, but I don't want. We both don't want to take first, I guess, because. Uh, then the other person would win. Oh, you're right. Yeah, and of course it's clean as royal, but it's hard to get to it. Yeah. Oh, I could have. I could have. <laughs> or. <laughs> Vsauce music plays. <laughs> I could have taken that rook with my bishop, and that probably would have been a good move. Uh, but. Attacking a knight seems pretty good too, but. I could have definitely taken that rook with my bishop because that seems like a pretty good move. My turn? No. It's my turn. Yeah. I was about to move somewhere else that I remember. I noticed something interesting. <laughs> yeah, I'm in that, that works. And that weird thing, Travis, where like it doesn't show the dot on anyone. It's showing a dot for Crepuscular on his... No, it's not on mine. Remember I told you that uh, it was that sometimes for me? Yeah. Obviously, I just probably don't know how to use the software, but... <laughs> what I'm doing... It's your fault. I don't uh, seem to have had that problem before. Oh, there's a small problem with the device considering so I, um it's just important. <laughs> Feels so objectified. I took a, uh so Alex our a drummer of Mango Town who hasn't played. He says he says he was, but he's always just really busy. He's a drummer of another band now. Uh, I took a really embarrassing picture of him one time when he was in Megatown, and uh, and he just post reposted that saying to his new band page. <laughs> hey, let me see it. Can I look at it? Uh, I can post it on the Discord. I mean, do you just want to see the embarrassing picture? I mean, it's just kind of, of weird. Of course. Why wouldn't I? Actually, there's one that was more embarrassing. But... More embarrassing? Show mm -hmm. me the most embarrassing one. Bob. Well, I mean, he just... No, I mean, you don't even know the person. <laughs> you don't want to do it. Well, I saved I say the picture. I'm uh, posting the Discord, I guess. Want to show me? I'd love to see it.
my turn, guys? I can't tell. Yeah, okay, yeah, now it is. Perfect. Okay, cool. Are you in check? No. Yes, I am. No, no, I don't think you are. Yeah. Oh. Huh. The most definitely am, dude. Definitely close to. Oh, well, okay. What's checking you? Uh, it's Queen. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah it's not hard to, you know, scroll back and do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, okay. Kind of pre-dog pre predicament. Oh, yeah. A lot of discoveries. Y'all have a lot of discovery opportunities. But up here, pretty soon. So that's preventing me from taking the night because then Crepuscular will win from for taking that night. But I can take this rook. Noise. Oh, you moved. Yeah. Bishop takes rook. After this, I'm really excited to uh, watch the condensed game of the Milwaukee Ooh. Bucks versus the Toronto Raptor wow. Raptors. It's 15 minutes long, which it's usually 10 minutes long, which means it might be an amazing game because it could be an overtime game. Great poems about that. Just want to let you guys know. <laughs> What's tennis, Kripusk? Tennis? What about it? Into it, and you were watching it a lot. Oh, there's Wait, a. We have... just started. Mike and I. Oh. Go ahead. The French Open just started. Your, uh, who are you rooting for? Or do you not do it like that? I'm uh, not big on rooting for certain players. You just kind of want to see the drama. It's really interesting to follow. Who do you think is going to win? Not about who you want to win. But uh, Nadal. Because he always wins the French Open. <laughs> so I hope so. He's been so dominant now. Has his reign been around for a while? He's been winning it, you know, He's won it 11 times, you know, since 2005. Jesus, dude. Including right. the last two years. The best in the world right now? Uh, uh, the best clay court player of all time, actually. Novak Djokovic is the world number one right now. So, I want to just introduce for anyone who's stuck Wait, with us. I didn't mean to make that move. I, uh, I actually click on a queen and then click on a knight. Can I take that back? Yeah, of course. Just okay, to, so where's the... It's, uh, like, above the board. I'm actually not sure. It's above the board. Wait, which one's... The, there's a take back. Uh, okay, there's undo. Yeah, undo. Bum, 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 Uh, is that, have you done a undo yet? Right. So there's a yard game that Mike and I have played. And this was actually, Mike and I started playing this before we started playing board games a little bit. Because like, so Mike and I played this over the summer. And then when it started getting like more cold, we started playing backgammon and board games together more often. Uh, when so was this? Two so years ago? Yeah, about then. Um, 
So the game is called KUBB. Um, I don't exactly know how to pronounce it, but it's a lawn game. Um, and it's Wikipedia says it's a combination between bowling and horseshoes, which doesn't really. I don't know if it's really that, but um, the Vikings used to play it with skulls and bones. So it, it's also called I'm Viking. It up right now. It's also called Viking chess, but it's 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 not Viking. There's another thing called Viking chess. It's not it's it's not similar to chess. Um, but the Vikings played this when they apparently when they conquered villages. Uh, oh, look at that. Because the queen is royal. Hmm. Well, if I don't take this bishop, then Corpuscular takes the bishop. But if I take it, then I just get, I just lose a queen, right? Have you guys watched the uh, Chernobyl HBO? Oh, like, a, is there a series called Chernobyl, though? Yeah, dude. Yeah, you need... <laughs> well, actually, I was yeah. browsing IMDb the other day, and I saw it was, like, top-rated show right now. <laughs> it's fucking incredible, I'll be honest, man. I just type in the show and then hit mega share and like you can basically just you know mega share is that a illegal you just stream it huh. but uh well stream the first three episodes if you just go to Google and type in TV show I want to illegally stream this please let me do this Google yeah I'm sure you'll find a link probably work but you could also just do mega share mega share uh, yeah there was some site I. No, I, I used to do that with, in grad school. Uh, where I'd, there was some site that I could go to and illegally. Do that now because they get a VPN is just yeah. Uh, Mike Mike ends, got a VPN. Caught on, but now they charge, so it's like fuck. Okay, oh, so, so it's a historical drama. Oh, I miss something. I definitely miss something. But uh, okay. Well, I took the night, so I took a night for free. You sure did. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure one. Ah! Oh! <laughs> no! You didn't even see how bad it was. You didn't even know it was bad. I, I, I could have swore that... Okay, so I could have taken <laughs> Corpuscular's Queen for free. <laughs> With my Queen well, on... Okay, oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I could, I could have taken the Queen. I could have swore that Queen was not attacking the Knight. So that's the second three-player game in a row that I've lost because I messed up. Blunder, straight blunder. Well, the, uh, we played Royal Knight, which is just uh, if you capture both knights, which is the same in here. Yeah, of course. And I captured, or I didn't. I could have prevented Corpuscular from winning, and I didn't. <laughs> but that one I didn't even see. I, could, I was like, he moved away from attacking the knight. He's not attacking the knight anymore. <laughs> Ah, oh, well, that's game. So, Crosscure won, and Emerson lost. <laughs> New point five. And I did nothing except uh, lost the game for myself. <laughs> lost. What? That I lost. I hope oh, everyone enjoyed it. <laughs> this has been Extinction Chess. <laughs> so yeah, that was Extinction Chess. Co chess composer requests resignation for Corpuscular. I guess I'll accept. Nice. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, you know what? If you're still here, please just tell me. Because if you watched this video to the end and didn't like skip to the last few minutes... Please let me know, because I'm actually pretty surprised. Let me know. <laughs> let Emerson know as well. Goodbye.